Starting us off at number 10, Stacey Dash and Jeffrey Marty. Clueless star Stacey Dash and her husband Jeffrey Marty have decided to call it quits after two years of marriage. Stacey and Jeffrey got married back in April 2018, just 10 days after meeting each other, and have shared their ups and downs over the last two years. Man, 10 days and you're married? You know you're head over heels for this person when you marry them just after over a week. Stacy took to her Instagram to share the news of her split with her fans back in April of this year. Following the announcement of their divorce, fans were quick to point out that this comes just shortly after Dash was arrested for alleged domestic violence, to which she pleaded not guilty. There's been no word from Jeffrey on the divorce proceedings, but Stacy has wished him well, citing that she feels that this is for the best. Coming in at number 9, Tracy Morgan and Megan Wallover. Tracy Morgan and wife Megan Wallover are splitting up five years after getting married. Morgan issued a statement in July saying that this is a challenging time for the couple and asking for their privacy at the moment. Their love story sounds like something out of a movie. Tracy saying that he knew from the moment he saw her that they would get married, and even his struggle with rehabilitating after his major crash in 2015 to be able to walk his wife down the aisle. Their split came as a surprise to many and a cause has not been issued. The couple have a child together who's seven and are looking forward to co-parenting. At number 8, Nicole Young and Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre and longtime partner Nicole Young are getting a divorce after nearly 25 years of marriage. The California rap icon and his wife filed for divorce citing irreconcilable differences. It's hard to think of what kind of irreconcilable differences would end a 24 year marriage. I'm thinking it's quarantine taking its toll on them like it has for so many other couples, but it must have been a huge issue to call it quits like that. They seem to have such a strong relationship. Their divorce has caused quite the stir lately in regards to their pre up. Nicole claims that Dre ripped up their prenuptial agreement after feeling badly about pressuring her into signing it. So technically there's no prenup since it was destroyed. I'm not a lawyer so I can't make assumptions as to how things work in that kind of situation, but Nicole is using that as her argument to claim half of Dre's $800 million empire. The couple also have two kids, but they're adults so there's no need for child support payments to be made. Basically, this is going to be a pretty messy breakup since there's so much money at stake. In the meantime, we just have to watch it all unfold. At number 7. Adrian Pilecki and Scott Grimes. The Orville's actor Adrian Pilecki has filed for divorce from Scott Grimes for the second time. After filing for divorce a little over a year ago, Adrian has filed for divorce once again, citing irreconcilable differences. Yeah, there it is again. The pair took to Instagram to announce their split, saying, Thankful for our time together as a couple, even more thankful for our deep, everlasting friendship. This divorce filing comes a year after Adrian tried filing just two months after getting married. This past May, in an anniversary, anniversary post, Adrian cited how this year has brought them some ups and downs, but they were hopeful for their future together. I guess 2020 really nailed them there. Coming into number 6, Kelly Clarkson and Brandon Blackstock. Kelly and husband Brendan Blackstock have decided to split after nearly 7 years of marriage. The duo worked together on Kelly's talk show, The Kelly Clarkson Show, and they even have two kids together. Things on the outside seemed well and they worked together so that seemed to show that their marriage was strong, but now sources have revealed that they had a number of problems. On their divorce papers, they list the reason for divorce as to be determined or as irreconcilable differences, but we are being led to believe that it was the effects of quarantine that really pushed them over the edge. The two are seeking joint custody of their kids, but other than that, they don't really seem to agree on much else when it comes to their divorce proceedings. Clarkson has opted to refuse any spousal support, while her husband just checked other and doesn't have much to say about the monetary side of their divorce. Judging by how they've been reported to rarely agree on things, this divorce divorce could become quite messy quite quickly. As those who are close with the couple say that on the outside they seem to have a perfect marriage, but that they definitely did not. It's a wonder as to how they even managed to work together on the show if things were that bad. Either way, I wish them luck as they continue through this. Halfway through at number 5, Army Hammer and Elizabeth Chambers. Elizabeth Chambers has reportedly filed for divorce from husband Army Hammer after 10 years of marriage. Following their divorce filings, the pair have released statements saying that they've decided to turn the page and move on from their marriage. The couple have cited that they remain committed to co-parenting their children and are asking for privacy, compassion and love during this time. The family have been quarantining together, though sources say that was not the initial plan. Their split seems to be on good terms and I wish them nothing but the best. Coming 
in at number 4, Megan Fox and Brian Austin Green. After 10 years together, Megan Fox and Brian Austin Green have called it quits. Green spoke out about their split, saying that they started to split up in late 2019 after growing apart, and they really didn't want to make anything public too early. Green also cited that after Megan returned home from filming abroad, they gave it a few weeks before having a serious conversation about their marriage, ultimately deciding to end things. Things seem to have ended on good terms, as they both came to the mutual realization that things just weren't working out. Which is okay. Not all separations have to end badly, and this is exactly the outcome that both Megan and Brian were looking for. Recently, Megan has been seen out and about with rapper Machine Gun Kelly. Green spoke out about Megan's new relationship on his podcast, saying that he doesn't want Megan's new partner to be vilified by the media. He's done nothing wrong, and there's no reason that he should be receiving any grief for it. Now, although fans were shocked to hear about the divorce, it's not all bad. They seem to still be on good terms and co parenting their kids, so really, all is well. It's nice to see a celebrity divorce that doesn't turn into a full blown meltdown. At number 3, Clark Gregg and Jennifer Grey. Marvel actor Clark Gregg and Dirty Dancing actress Jennifer Grey have divorced after nearly 20 years of marriage. In a joint statement, the pair have remarked that they made the difficult decision to divorce early this year, but remain close and grateful for the life they've shared and their daughter that they've raised together. It seems like their marriage ended on friendly terms, as no ill will has been spoken about either one of them, and they still seem to be amicable towards one another. Since their split, Jennifer has wished her now ex-husband a happy Father's Day, and the two have been seen posing together with their daughter after she graduated high school. Looks to me like things between them are friendly and that's a positive. Coming close to the end of number 2, Julianne Huff and Brooks Leitch. After 3 years of marriage, Julianne Huff and Brooks Leitch called it quits when they announced their separation back in May. Yet another quarantine breakup to add to the books. In a joint statement, the couple tells fans that they've decided together that they would separate despite sharing an abundance of love and respect for one another. Now, the couple hasn't officially divorced yet, but they say that they're taking their time and are in no rush to get the paperwork done with. Someone close to the couple stated that Julianne is taking her time with the decision as being in lockdown brought up a lot of feelings for her. Brooks, on the other hand, is ready to move on. They're planning to file together, but Brooks is understanding of her situation and is giving her the time she needs to make her decision. I admire their unity in their situation. Being in the midst of a public breakup doesn't seem to be an easy thing, so the fact that they're being patient with one another and not speaking ill of each other speaks volumes on their maturity in this. And finally at number 1, Vanessa Morgan and Michael Kopech. Following a pregnancy announcement and just 6 months of marriage, Vanessa Morgan and Michael Kopech have filed for divorce. After nearly a year of dating, Vanessa and Michael tied the knot in January of this year. Then in June, Vanessa announced her pregnancy on Instagram saying that she was overjoyed to be welcoming her baby boy in the coming winter. The internet was overjoyed to hear of the pregnancy, but the celebration soon turned sour as just days after the announcement, it was revealed that Vanessa and husband Michael had filed for divorce. Michael and Vanessa have yet to comment on the divorce, but that hasn't stopped fans from speculating. Many fans have expressed their concern that someone was involved in an affair, many of those fans believing that it was Michael. Fans were quick to point out that in the photos Vanessa posted on her Instagram of her gender reveal party, Michael wasn't seen in any of them. Others pointed out the language used in the pregnancy announcement, citing that Vanessa referred to the baby as my and not ours, leading people to believe that Michael is no longer in the picture. Either way, it's sad to see a marriage fall apart, especially when a new baby is on the way. We have yet to hear any more on the story, but I'm sure it'll only be a matter of time until fans get some more answers. Starting us off at number 10, Ashley Holmes and Pete Maleo. I really hope I'm saying your name right. The daughter of Real Housewives in New Jersey star Jacqueline Lorita has announced her split from husband Pete Maleo. The couple has announced an end to their 10 year relationship on Instagram, saying, This was a difficult decision for us. We intend to be in each other's lives and continue to support one another as we grow as parents to our son Cameron, who we love more than anything. In their Instagram post, they highlighted how, though this was a difficult matter, they've decided to tell their followers as they've become more invested in the couple's lives. Lives. Ever since finding fame through her mother's time on Real Housewives of New Jersey, Ashley has had to navigate her time in the spotlight. And now this includes sharing the news of her divorce. As of right now, the pair are focused on co-parenting their four-year-old son. And he's got the cutest little chubby cheeks in the whole wide world. In at number 9, Katarina Scorsoni and Rob Giles. Grey's Anatomy star Katarina Scorsoni and partner Rob Giles have divorced after 10 years of marriage. The actress filed for divorce in early May, citing irreconcilable differences as the cause of the split. Here we go again with these irreconcilable differences. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of these on this list again. The two were married in 2009 and have three kids together, Eliza, Paloma, and Arwen. Just a side note to any Hamilton fans out there, do you get the urge to sing whenever you hear the name Eliza, or Angelica, or Peggy? No? Just me? 
not Skylar Sisters, no? Okay, just me, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm a huge Hamilton fan, so <laughs> that's in my brain right now. Anyway, the pair have said that they remain friends and they are committed to co-parenting their children in a spirit of love. At a Neo and Crystal Renee. R&B artist Neo and his wife Crystal Renee have filed for divorce after getting married in 2016. Their divorce seems to be amicable as they really haven't had anything negative to say about each other. In a statement released by the musician, he says that he and his wife both have their demons and that because of those demons it will be hard for them to stay married. He goes on to say that there is nothing bad about Crystal and that she is a fantastic woman and that he will always respect her. The pair have two sons together and have highlighted that they intend to still stay as a family regardless of their marital status. In a number 7, Mary Kate Olsen and Oliver Sarkozy. Mary Kate Olsen has filed for divorce from her husband of 5 years, Oliver Sarkozy. Olsen seemed to really want out of the relationship as she tried to file her divorce papers multiple times. The first attempt was back in April, but as a result of the pandemic, the courts wouldn't accept any paperwork unless it was an emergency divorce. Olsen then tried a second time to submit an emergency divorce filing, but was halted in May after the judge ruled that it was not an emergency matter. Olsen was finally successful in her third attempt filing just a week or so after her second attempt. As this was unfolding, Olsen's husband Oliver had allegedly terminated their lease and Olsen was ordered to move from her home amidst the New York stay at home orders. The last few months seem to have been really chaotic for Mary Kate and her determination to end her marriage as soon as possible has some people worried about her well being. We can't assume anything is wrong, but it still seems a little suspicious. Only time will tell if something comes of this frantic divorce proceeding. In at 6, Jesse Metcalf and Cara Santana. Desperate Housewives actor Jesse Metcalf and actress Cara Santana have called it quits after a 10 year long relationship. Now following their split, cheating allegations came out after Jesse was seen with another woman just days before the news broke of the couple's separation. Paparazzi images show Jesse with a blonde haired woman who he appeared to have his arm around and kissing her cheek. Scandal. The actor was also allegedly seen with another woman whom he was getting close to. You know, getting close to. Kara told sources that she felt totally blindsided by the whole affair and that she was afraid that Jesse wasn't ready to commit to her. Also, fun fact, Kara apparently didn't even know that they were broken up until she saw it in the news. Like, how did someone miss that? Did her partner just forget to be like, oh hey babe, we're over. What? Following the split, the two were reportedly quarantining together, so who really knows what's going on between them? Halfway through at number 5, Jay Cutler and Kristen Cavallari. Jay Cutler and Kristen Cavallari have decided to end their 10 year marriage, citing irreconcilable differences. There's a lot of these. <laughs> Following their divorce announcement in April of this year, fans started digging into what could have happened, and you know how they love to dig. Bringing it all the way back to 2011, fans began to look into what could have ended Jay and Kristen's marriage, starting with when Kristen briefly called off their engagement. She was cited saying that she didn't want to be the stay at home mom type and that something had to change in order for her to go through with the wedding. Obviously they worked things out and the couple were wed. Then just recently on social media there were allegations that Jay was having an affair with Kristen's best friend, though Kristen never bought into these rumors. All seemed well enough until the dreaded 2020 came along and brought quarantine along with it. Around April of this year the two decided to call it quits. An insider claimed that they have simply grown apart and fallen out of love with each other, but some fans are beginning to think that there's more more here to unravel. In her divorce filing, Kristen accused her husband of inappropriate marital conduct and that such conduct is rendering their cohabitation unsafe and improper. As to what this inappropriate marital conduct is, we don't know but one thing's for sure, their quarantine experience seemed to really put the pressure on their marital problems and they just couldn't handle it. In at 4, Jordana Brewster and Andrew Form. Jordana Brewster and Andrew Form have divorced after 13 years together. The Fast and Furious actress filed for divorce just a few weeks after quietly separating from partner Andrew. Quietly separating, even though we all knew about it. I don't know. <laughs> Although the pair haven't come forward to talk about the split, a representative says that they still have respect for one another and are focused on co-parenting their two children. The couple were married in 2007 after meeting on the set of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. Such a romantic setting, am I right? The pair have two sons, Julian and Rowan, and are focused for managing their family for the time being. Imagine falling in love on the set of a horror film. And not just any horror film, one of the bloodiest and scariest film franchises out there. Just wow. 
in at three, Casey Musgraves and Rustin Kelly. After tying the knot back in October 2017, Casey Musgraves and Rustin Kelly have filed for divorce. As yet another quarantine divorce who cited irreconcilable differences for their split, Casey and Rustin seem to be on pretty decent terms. The couple has been cited to still have love and respect for one another following their files for divorce in July. The couple seems to be on such good terms following the breakup that they've indicated to the courts that they would be dividing their assets themselves without the guidance of the court system. This seems to look good for Casey and Rustin since not many divorces end in such a civil manner to allow the two parties to take care of their assets themselves. Following their divorce announcement, Casey and Rustin have shut down any scrutiny of the two saying that their love for each other goes far beyond the relationship and that their soul connection is something that can never be erased. They continue to say that though there are parting ways in marriage, that they will remain true friends for the rest of their lives. They hold no anger or contempt against each other and seem to be navigating their divorce smoothly. Yet another good example that all divorces aren't ugly. Coming in at 2, Jesse James and Alexis DeJoria. We have quite the cheating scandal on our hands here guys. Reality star and mechanic Jesse James, also known as Sandra Bullock's ex-husband, has filed for divorce from wife and professional drag racer Alexis DeJoria. In a messy cheating scandal, Jesse and Alex are ending their relationship after 7 years together. This breakup is really messy because it was revealed that Jesse had cheated on his wife with at least 20 different women. Some sources have revealed that Jesse would sneak women into his home as well as fly women out to Austin to hook up with them in hotel rooms. His wife Alexis found out about his infidelity about 2 years ago but didn't know how many women her husband was involved with and when confronted about it, Jesse denied everything. Of course he denied everything, I mean come on. It is also reported that Alexis tried to work things out with Jesse but he wasn't interested. This is a lesson to everyone out there, if your partner cheats on you, you just leave them because if there's no trust in a relationship, there's no point on trying to salvage it. It'll just hurt more to be disrespected like that than go through a breakup. Finally in at number 1, Pamela Anderson and John Peters. Actress Pamela Anderson had married and divorced Hollywood producer John Peters within the span of 12 days earlier this year. But now after speculation has come out about Pamela sparking up a romance with her bodyguard, she's come out to talk about her brief relationship with John. Pamela told sources that she was never actually married to her longtime friend and says that they never actually signed any papers, therefore they couldn't be divorced if they weren't married in the first place. There was a lot of confusion surrounding their relationship because there were some who suspected that Pam only married John for his money and then soon left him when her debts were paid off. Now with this new information telling us that they weren't even married to begin with, I'm more confused than ever. I don't know what to believe at this point. I really don't.